we saw a news conference where there was quite a disagreement between yourself and the minister of Tiat, which was quite unusual over the whole airport issue. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to qualify it as a disagreement. Um, what I said in that uh, <coughs> particular press uh, briefing was I wanted just to make clear, it was not per se to attack my, my colleague. My colleague, uh, you know, has his opinion, and he voiced right. that opinion, fine. So, but I wanted to uh, set the record straight. If there is a Council of Ministers decision that the uh, loan facility through the European Investment Bank and the World Bank is the track that we are going to follow, and if the holding board and the operational board of the airport passes board resolution saying the same thing, then it becomes quite strange that an uh, airport holding board all of a sudden organizes a presentation for uh, another option to, to uh, financing, which is their right, because by itself, the airport is an independent uh, entity. But if that same board, who is closely involved in getting the other facility together, why are you choosing a particular time to all of a sudden come with a presentation on? It's almost like, you know, today uh, I tell you uh, this color is, is blue, everybody could see it's blue, and then the next day you come back, no, no, it's green. You know, so your, your credibility uh, is at stake at that point in time. Did you know about the meeting at the time? Uh, no, yeah. no. I, uh, I was off island, and uh, I had to read it in the, in the newspaper. So if the holding board would organize uh, something like mm -hmm. that, then at least let us know. I'm involved in getting the financing uh, facility, then let me know this is what is going. So, and that, that was more my, uh, my, uh, the purpose of, of speaking out, because it's all about credibility at that point in time. You know, um, you say A, you, you're working on A, but in the meantime, you're also working on B, um, and then all of a sudden you present it, you know, then keep everybody in the loop, and then we can discuss it. And then you present something that is far more expensive, which has high corporate risks for the airport, you know. Um, you tie the, the, the population, you put the population in the country at risk for a possible bankruptcy on a debt scheme, you know. And as a Minister of Finance, I also have to look at those things, you know, before you take a decision whether or not uh, that financing deal is, is a good one for the country. Because you might be happy now, in the next mm -hmm. coming three years, because you're going to get a mm -hmm. uh, fine and dandy airport. But what happened for our children and the, our children's children afterwards? 